Say namaste. I think I will have to message a few of them back that we are back online again. Uh, overslept yesterday, kind of, I think the long journey and everything just got me tired. So I woke up at you know, 8 o'clock when I read your message, Steph, sorry. Okay, anyway, let's start. Finding that comfortable seat or comfortable posture. Sitting upright with straight spine, chin up. Gently, softly close your eyes. Finding our comfortable seat, comfortable posture, pose or poise. Just letting go of any stress, any tension or burden. Finding that inner quietness. inner quietness or inner peace that exists deep within each one of us. Connecting with our inner self. Connecting with that joyful self. And then following deep conscious breathing Inhaling deep, expanding our breath in our lower, mid and upper lobes. And then exhaling and letting go from lower, mid and upper lobes. So today we're going to follow a little bit more simpler practice. So working more onto our subtle, our vital energies, our vital forces. So we'll be working on our subtle, our conscious, our vital energies together. Let's just gently and consciously bring our hands to heart. Namaskar. Three ohms to begin our gentle heart yoga session. Join if you like. Gently, slowly open your eyes. Let's begin. Gently ease and then stretch or extend your legs to the front. And we begin gently with relaxing, easing or bouncing of our knees, our legs. Wiggling of our toes, just creating the gentle, gentle wiggling. And then flexing our feet up and down. Rotating our feet in one direction. And then other direction. And again, bouncing off the knees, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And let's catch hold on to our right leg and gently flexing our foot up and down. Just to create this sense of active loosening up and then rotating our foot in one direction and then change direction let's hold under your knee and then rotating in your knee joint change 
aesthetics and And then you lead or relax. This cat's hold on to her left leg and then gently flexing her foot up and down. And then rotating her foot in one direction. And change direction. Let's hold on to your knee and then rotating in your knee joint. Change direction. Lovely. And then release or oh, relax. Let's bring both our feet or soles together into Badkonasana, the bonded feet. And then gently and consciously bouncing off our knees. Pressing your knees down for a moment, hold there for a few breaths. Lovely and gently and slowly bring your knees up and forward. And then relax, relax. Let's take our right leg or foot up against our left thigh. And then hold on to your foot with both your hands. Breathe out. Breathe in, raise your right leg forward and left arm up. And breathe out and release. Second time, breathe in, expand and open your right leg out to the side, left arm away. And breathe out, release. Third time, keep holding onto your foot with the left hand, breathe in, cross it over to the left leg and right arm away. Vakra, out and release. Now let's keep going, breathe in, leg forward up and left arm over. Breathe out, let go, release. Again, breathe in, expand, open out. Out and release. And going across, breathe in, creating the twist. And release. Lovely, all doing well. One more, breathe in, take it a little bit more up and deeper and out open breathe in and out and then twist breathe in and out and then release relax let's change your side bring your left foot up and hold it with both your hands breathe out when you're ready, breathe in, leg forward, right arm up. And breathe out, release. Second time, open your left leg out to the side, right arm away. And breathe out, release. And then twist, breathe in. And release. Let's do two more. Breathe in, leg forward, right arm up out and let go open breathe in and let go and then twist breathe in and let go and release relax now let's take our right foot to the left thigh again left leg forward and then clasp your hands on top of your left thigh breathe in as you breathe out, gently bounce forward. Lengthening or expanding through your spine, reaching down and return back up. Keep moving forward into the stretch and then returning back up. Lovely. Let's keep going. One more. Reach down to your leg, your foot. Hold here, breathe out, hip to the knee, and then breathe in, reach your arms over Anjali Mudra. Breathe out and fold forward, stretch. 
Taking a moment, taking a pose. And then breathe in, reach your arms over. This time interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out, stretch. And then breathe out and fold forward again, Janusirsasana. This time reaching with your foot, clasp between your hands. And one more, breathe in, reach up, reach over. Let's expand our toes, pointing away, arms up. And breathe out and stretch forward once more. And then breathe in, reach your arms over. And then let go and release, relax. Okay, that's great. Let's switch our sides, our legs. Left foot to the right thigh, right leg forward. Now clasp your hands again. And gently massaging from your top of your thigh, reaching down and forward as far as you can. And then returning back and up. And again. And returning back up. And again. Reaching down to our foot, breathe out here, breathing in, reach your arms over, raise to the sky and breathe out and stretch forward. Let's keep going, breathing in, reach up, expand and breathe out and stretch forward. Again, breathe in, reach up. And breathe out and stretch forward. One more. Breathe in, reach up, interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out, stretch, lift up. And then breathe out and reach with clasping your foot inside your hands, head to the knee. Lovely. And then breathing in, reach back up. Your foot, your toes pointing away, arms lifted up. And breathe out and stretch forward once more. Taking a moment. Lovely. And breathing in, reach your arms up and over. And let's release, relax. This is gently coming to easy cross-legged Sukhasana. And then give a nice massage into your shoulders. Rolling them in one direction, other direction, then down and then rotating your head, keep going in one direction, another direction. And gently shake your head, lifting up your jaw, make the sound I ah, if you need to. Uh, great, let's just sit straight, take your arms out to the side on the floor, fingers touching down. Breathe out. Now breathe in, drop your left elbow to the floor, raise your right arm up and over from the side, creating a long extended stretch. And breathe out and return back. Other side, breathe in, right arm down, left arm extending over. And breathe out. Again, breathe in, left arm down, right arm up, stretch. And breathe out, release. To the right side, breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Lovely. Now let's just drop our left elbow on the floor. So you are well supported on your left side. Take your right foot up. Hold on to your right foot for your right leg. And then breathe out. Breathe in, stretch up. Stretch, expand, open. And breathe out and release, letting go. Two more, breathe in. Out. Again, breathe in. And out. Lovely, let's sit and back up. And we switch our side. Let's come down on your right arm, your right elbow. Let's hold on to your left foot. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in, expand open, and breathe out, and release, in, and out, breathe in, and out, one more, breathe in, And out. And then release, relax. Let's switch our side again. Come down to your left side again. Onto your left arm or your left elbow. This time thread your arm under your leg. So your arm under your right knee. And then hold on to your foot from behind. Lovely. Breathe out. So bring your hand to the front. And there. So breathe in now, stretch and try to draw your leg behind your shoulder as far as you can and breathe out, release. Keep going, two more, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in and breathe out. And then release. Returning back and we switch our side, come down to the left side. On your, sorry, on your right arm, thread your left arm under your left leg, hold on to your foot. So hand under your leg, that's it, lovely. Reach behind your foot, breathe out. Breathe in, gently open up through your leg, your pelvic area, and your hip. Breathe out and release. Two more, breathe in. And out. And again, breathe in. And out. And release. Sit straight, take a moment, take a pause. Okay, sorry about that, here's the cat outside the window. So let's continue. So come back on your left arm again. This time, let's stretch our left leg straight. So we're on our side with our body straight. And again, fold your right leg, hold on to your foot. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathing in, stretch, expand, open your leg up. And can we hold here for a minute now? Breathing deep through your posture, your asana. And release. Let's try to take it further deeper. So bring your leg further behind your shoulder. Thread your arm from the front, reach back to your foot, from front. 
and then gradually open up your leg and we hold there taking a couple of conscious breaths and let go and release come back to your seated position and we switch our sides so come down to your right side your right arm also right leg extended and straight and then we fold our left leg hold on to our foot and the fist extension reach your leg up from the side open up as deep as you wish to lovely hold there for a couple of breaths just to be aware to your own stretch your own posture your asana and then release second one thread your arm under your leg reach behind to your foot and then draw your leg all the way behind your shoulder as deep as you can or you wish to and then breathe there and then gently let go release relax Let's come back to cross-legged Sukhasana again, sitting nice and comfortably at ease. Your back straight, chin up. Take a moment, take a pose. Now take your arms out to the side, your fingers touching to the floor. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathing in, reach your arms over to the sky, look up and then breathe out and bring your hands back down touch your fingers back to the earth and chin down to your chest breathe and feel this sense of rising up rise and rise look up and breathe out returning back to our mother earth connecting back with the earth back with our roots and feel that connectedness again breathing in reach up and then breathing out and letting go lovely now bring your hands to your heart namaskar mudra breathe out when you're ready breathe in arms forward agra mudra and then expand to open your heart your chest and breathe out bring them back to front and then back to your heart let's keep going breathe in Agra Mudra Hasta Prasara and breathe out returning back breathe in expand open your heart and breathe out to closing Now interlock your hands, your fingers to your heart. Feel your soft touch with your heart, your anahata. Breathe out. Breathe in. Turn your palms inside out. Stretch your arms forward. Take your head back. Look behind as far as you can. And then breathe out. Bring your hands back to your heart and chin down to your chest. Let's keep going. Breathe in. And out. One more, breathe in, and out. Now arms to the right side, head to the left, breathe in, turn your arms out to the right, head to the left, creating that stretch and twist. Out and release. Second time, arms to the left, head to the right, breathe in. Out and release. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Right side. Head to the left. And release. In. And release. One more. Breathe. 
breathe in and release in and release letting go lovely now just bring both your soles your feet together into Badkonasana the bonded feet position and then gently slowly or consciously bouncing of your knees bouncing of your knees now let's take our hands to the knees and then breathe out breathe in raise your arms up into anjali mudra press your knees down now breathe out, bring your left hand down first and right hand on top, Garuda Mudra. So joining your hands into Namaskar Mudra. Take your arms down as far as you can, keep your elbows and your hands together. Breathe out. Can we breathe in and raise our elbows up, keep going up as high as you can, keep your Mudra. Bringing your arms in front of your face and breathe out and release. It's releasing any tension, dissolving away of your arms and your shoulders. Two more, breathe in. And out. One more, breathe in. And out. Ease your arms, reach them back and over to Anjali Mudra. And then back down on your knees. Just hands resting on your knees, press them down for a moment. Breathe out. Breathe in, reach your arms back up again. Anjali Mudra. This time right hand down first, left hand on top, taking them back into Garuda Mudra. Let's breathe out. When you're ready, breathing in, raise your elbows up. Out and release. Just keep going, breathe in. Out. Again, breathe in. And out. And release. Now bring your chin down to your chest, hold on to your feet and nice and consciously rotate your head, moving gently in one direction. And then opposite direction. Gently sitting upright with straight spine, taking a moment, taking a pause. Gently when you're ready, eat yourself to bring your knees up to the front. So we're going to go through our Nava Kiryas now. Taking your balance on your sitting bones, breathe out. Right leg, breathe in, raise your right leg up, straight to the front, out and release, then left leg in, raise, out and release. If you wish to, you can keep your heels floating, so continue, right leg in, and out, left in, and out, again right leg in. And out, left in, and out, one more right in, and out, left in, and out, both legs in, and out, three 
breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now your feet on the floor to counterbalance. Let's hold on to both your legs into your left arm. Take your right hand behind. Create a nice conscious twist. Looking over your right shoulder. Taking a couple of breaths. And gently release. Turn around. Let's hold on to your legs with your right arm. Left hand behind and creating the twist. Look over your shoulder, breathe. And gently release, relax. Let's take both our knees up again. This time we take our arms extended over our legs. You can join your palms together if you wish to. Breathe out and breathe in, raise your legs forward, out and release, two more, breathe in and out, again breathe in and out. Bring your hands to your heart, let's see if we can do hands and legs together, breathe in and out, doing your best and leaving the rest. Breathe in and out. Again, breathe in and out. And the legs forward gently. Fold forward, head to the knees. Paschimottanasana. Breathe here, breathe consciously. Gently rise up, interlock your fingers above your head, turn your palms inside out, stretch up, lift up, Dandasana. Lovely, and then release, take your hands behind, fingers pointing back to you. Let's just gently try to... Lift up, walk our feet away, getting your toes to the floor for a deep halasana. And then release, relax. Let's try another variation. Bring your knees up this time. Catch hold on to your legs or your ankles on it, taking that balance of your sitting bones. Breathe out and breathe in, raise your legs to the front, extend and then hold there. And gently release, relax. Let's stand around, come up on our feet in Vajrasana. Sit up straight, taking a moment. And we do a couple of rounds of our favorite practice, Danda Kiriya, just to create that sense of stretching, stimulus right through our spine and our breathing, our lungs. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathing in, come up on your knees, take your arms behind, stretch back. Ustrasana Sapurna. Breathing out, return back on your feet. Vajrasana. Breathe in here. Breathe out, fold forward, Tarnika. Breathe in, roll on top of your head, raise in your buttocks up. Sasa. Out and release. Breathe in, chin up and progressively sit back up. And breathe out. Let's do two more. Breathe in back bend. Out, release. Vajrasana. 
straight in. Now fold forward, Sarnica. And roll on top of your head, your protection. Out on your legs. And bring the knees in forward and raise back up. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Out. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Fold forward, Tarnika. Breathe in, roll on top of your head, breathe in your protection. Out on your legs. And sit up and sit back up. Great. And breathe out. It's taking a moment, sitting comfortably. Now if you can stay on your feet, please do. If you need to change into cross-legged, that's fine. So we'll close our morning sadhana with the Brahma Mudras together today. So let's just do the, the Kriya with our eyes and our neck together. Open your eyes. Breathe out. Breathing in, roll your head out to the right shoulder. Keep rolling your eyes behind, look behind. Gently breathe out and return back. So we're rolling our head and our eyes back to the center. Left side, breathe in, roll back. Out and release. Up, in, roll. And release. Down, in. And release. Second time, keeping eyes open, we're going to use the sound now. Right side sound, ah, breathe in. Release with the sound. Ah. Left side, in. Sound, ooh. round, close your eyes. Breathing in, roll your head and your eyes to the right side with eyes closed, sound A. Uh. To the left side, in. Mm-hmm. 
take me a moment, take me a pause. We'll do one more round. This time I'd like you to transcend your physical practice and go into our, pers pers our perception, our perspective. So we are trying to expand our perspective so we can see the right, left, up and down. So have the ability to see all different aspects, perspectives and the sides of each and every event. Breathe out consciously to the right side and let your mind, your awareness to move to the right. Have the ability to look, uh, to let go. Let's look at the left side perspective, breathe in with eyes closed. at inward perspective Take a pose now, hold in middle, hold in center. Can you feel as if your mind, your perception has these beautiful eyes where it's not only looking into our own perspective, it can see the right, the left, up, below, even behind. I'd like to finish with the Garda Vakiriya as we talk about these perspectives so we can easily get caught up into our animal instincts or the, the selfish kind of perspectives so we want to get it all out. So with in breath we do the sound doing the Pavana Mukta Kiriya and out breath we hit it back onto the floor with the heels, arms up with the sound of ha. I can demonstrate it on and then we will do it a few times together. So if I breathe out here it goes like this, breathing in. Ha! Okay, so let's do five times. Just be careful. I can see some of you on the floor outside. Just be gentle with your heels. Breathe out. In. enough now find your space for your relaxation lying comfortably and straight where your body in a straight line and as always I'll guide you through a little bit of relaxation and then I will let it go so lying straight where your body in a straight line in Savasana head to the north feet to the south if you can and just letting go Letting go and relaxing your whole body all the way from your head 
to your feet or your toes just let go let go and relax just let go and relax once you let go and relax softly bring your mind to your breath your conscious breathing just pay attention to your inhalation and exhalation maybe you can try to listen the sounds of your breath how your breath goes in and how your breath follow flows out is to be aware be conscious to your own breath breathing in deep and conscious and then breathing out fully this beautiful concept of our soham or the hamsa breath breathing in life pranic this cosmic energy sa breathing out all the darkness this dullness this stagnant energy So as you paying your attention to your breath i like you to have this mindfulness you are inhaling the life the spirit prana and you are exhaling all the darkness all the dullness so inhaling the spirit the life prana vital energy and exhaling letting go all the darkness all the dullness follow this breathing in your relaxation with this visualization i inhale the prana the life force vital energy and i exhale i let go all the darkness dullness stagnant energy i want to leave you all in your beautiful space enjoy a nice deep relaxation i will see you all tomorrow morning Om shanti 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 om